for these are the oldest digesters we have in the plant. One, two, and three are the oldest. And uh, like I say, we have 16 in service, well, 16 on the plant. 11 of them are in service. We have five that are uh, down for different reasons, uh, mostly uh, holes in the roof where the, some of the methane gas was escaping, so we had to shut them down. And uh, we're, that's part of the master plan addressing the, the leaks. Again, you can see the roofs and the hoses as we get a little further away coming off. We'll pull some of the methane gas off the roof and recirculate it through the bottom and percolate up to help break up the mat and increase the gas production. And uh, now that's been noted as not the most efficient way to mix your digesters. There's different ways of uh, increasing with mechanical mixing. So if we're looking into doing that, but again, uh, about a million dollars per digester. So again, that's something that the master plan is looking at. Again, these are our digesters, and uh, as you can see, some of the equipment that we have on it, each digester will have a uh, heat exchanger. And what we have to do is pull the sludge out with a uh, recess impeller pump, and we'll circulate it in the heat exchanger. And we want to keep the temperature of the digester about 98 degrees. And again, that's probably about what our body temperature is. And the bacteria, the anaerobic, no, no air in there. <laughs> will uh, promote the environment that the bugs like and they will produce the methane gas. I uh, don't remember the number of the uh, cubic feet of gas we produce every day, but it's enough to run all our engines on it and create about two-thirds of our power ourselves. And, uh, 